We begin with a fired Rochester special ed teacher in court accused of having sex with teen students and now we're learning clues into how police say she was caught. Catherine Hodling was granted $200,000 cash bond after being arraigned on six counts of criminal sexual conduct. And in that courtroom, new details emerged, including where the alleged incidents happened. And as our Coco McAvoy shows us, police are revealing how they say they caught her. Catherine Hoodling was in her first year as a special education teacher here at Rochester High, but prosecutors say she was preying on her students, and that takes her from one institution to another. She's now at the Oakland County Jail trying to come up with $200,000 for her bond. Would the court uh, allow um, defendant to uh, report later today so that she could uh, be with her family to make arrangements for her bond? Absolutely not. And just like that, Catherine Hoodling was put in handcuffs and sent to jail for the shocking allegations against her. We'll enter a plea of uh, not guilty to each of the six counts of criminal sexual conduct in the third degree. The details are disturbing. Prosecutors say Hoodling had sex with two students, 16 and 17 years old. And one of the students was in her special education class at Rochester High. My understanding that his assignment to the classroom pertained to a reading um, uh, uh, deficiency. As if the sexual misconduct allegations aren't bad enough, police believe Hoodling was drinking and smoking marijuana with students after school. A parent allegedly found a video of Hoodling partying with students. Do you have any information that alcohol or drugs was involved in any of these allegations? Yes, alcohol and drugs were involved in the allegations. I'm going to set her bond in this case at $200,000 cash surety, no 10%. Hoodling didn't have much to say for herself today in court, but she will have to answer to the many charges she's now facing. And Hoodling is newly married and she was living with her husband in Sterling Heights. And as you heard her attorney say in court, her family is trying to come up with $200,000 to get her released on bond. We'll, of course, keep track of it. Back to you. Yeah, Coco, you mentioned the bond. If she does happen to make bond, uh, what sort of any restrictions would be put on, on her then? There are a lot of restrictions. If she does get released out on bond, she'll have to delete all of her social media accounts, but she'll also be on a GPS tether and she won't be able to leave her house unless she's got a doctor's appointment, is going to court or is meeting with her attorney. And of course, she also cannot have any contact with any of the victims. Yes, of course. Okay. Keep us posted on what else comes. Thanks, Coco.